Hello Beta, hope you're having a wonderful day. Just want to go over your website and give you some tips for SEO as well as um, show you some other avenues that you can generate leads for your business. So first off, I want to say I really like the clean interface of your website, BPW Cleaners. Uh, it's really simple, straight to the point. You do home cleaning and office cleaning and post-construction cleaning. Uh, so that's great. Um, looks like you probably built this yourself have some basic FAQs. The contact us form has an issue with the, the header. Um, I will say I didn't know where you were located until I went to the contact us form um, and found that you were located in Illinois. So that's one thing you're probably gonna need to fix uh, as well as the lack of reviews. Um, but just for having a brand, this isn't a bad website at all. Uh, if you want to rank it on Google, there's a lot more that you're going to need to do, um, which is what I'll go into in a little bit. Uh, but before that, I wanted to mention that I couldn't find your business on any other avenues, um, such as Facebook. I tried to find BBW Cleaners, search by location, and such, uh, but I didn't see any that looked like the same logo. Um, so it doesn't look like you have a Facebook page that I can find. And if you do, you should link it in the footer. You can put the Facebook page, also seen on Home Advisor, you know, Instagram, etc. All your other profiles, you should link them on the footer of the page or even at the top. Um, also, I couldn't find your Google business listing. I was trying to search for your name, BBW Cleaners or BBW Cleaners Illinois. I was able to find the website but there's no Google business listing. Usually when you search for the name of a business, the business listing will show up right here. Uh, so what is a business listing? It is these things that show up in the maps, the Google map pack or Google my business. Um, it's also called the snap pack or the three pack, depending on who you talk to. Um, but when I search for Des Plainas, I don't know how to say it, Illinois home cleaners, uh, the first thing that shows up is a few ads and then you have this map with business listings and because this is such a specific small area there's not very much competition to get in the top three so that's really good um, you can probably take the top spot if you do a little bit of basic SEO um, but let me show you what it takes to rank on the top three because there is a lot of other competitors in the Chicago area uh, if you want to rank more broadly um, when you set up your Google business listing, you go to google.com slash business. Uh, you'll sign in with one of your email accounts that you want to manage uh, all of your GMBs with. And you're going to fill out all of the information. Um, I don't want to show you my personal clients, but it's pretty simple to do. Uh, there's just a few tricks to getting the web the listing to rank. One of those things is you're going to want to add lots and lots of photos, at least 25 photos. Um, before and after photos work great. Don't do them super wide, just square photos. You can resize them in Canva. I usually make them 750 by 750 pixels. And you want to uh, name the photos before you upload them as keywords. Keywords such as Home Cleaners Illinois, um, the Home Cleaning Company, uh, Post Construction Cleaning, uh, Desplanes, uh, etc. Those types of keywords that you want to be found for are the types of keywords you want to have all over the Google business listing including in the keyword uh, photos names, in the business description, uh, in the reviews, if possible, etc. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have all the right categories. So there's multiple categories you can include. There's a full list of them on Google Business Categories, this website. Uh, but essentially you want to go through this and find all of them that are, that are relating to your services. So for example, um, a cleaning service is one commercial cleaning service, uh, house cleaning service, and I think there's one more that's called cleaning. Uh, those are all the categories you want You want to list your Google business listing. If you don't have all of them, then you won't be showed up. Then you won't show up for a lot of the searches. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is get a lot of reviews. You can um, click write a review and then copy this link and get a bit.ly link for it and then send it to all of your previous contacts and friends and uh, previous clients and get them to leave lots of reviews. And then the last thing to rank, is you're going to want you to get your business listed in lots of other directories and citations. 
things like your business Facebook page, Groupon, Home Advisor, BBB, Yelp, Yellow Pages. Uh, specifically, these are the ones that they say are the best for ranking a cleaning business. So it says carpet cleaning, but any cleaning business is related. Um, so make sure to get at least these ones. I usually do 100 to 200 citations when I first uh, start out in ECMB to try to boost its rankings. Because ideally, uh, whenever somebody searches for home cleaners, um, so Illinois or home cleaning companies uh, in near me or in Chicago or whatever area you're targeting, you want to show up in the top three spots. Uh, that will give you tons of leads and business on a consistent basis if you're in the top three spots. Uh, after that, you're going to want to eventually optimize your website. So let's get more into that. Uh, so in order to rank a website, there's a couple things you need to do. Uh, you need to know the basic ranking factors that Google takes into account. The first one is the content link. Right now, you probably have 200 words of content on your homepage and less than 150 on other pages. Uh, that's not going to be enough for Google to know what your website is about. Right now, you're only indexed for one keyword. Uh, so essentially, Google doesn't know what your website is about because there's so little content. Um, so when you optimize, uh, right now you're ranking for BBW Cleaning, which apparently gets searched 90 times a month, so that's not too bad. Um, but, uh, which is how I found you earlier when I searched BBW Cleaning. But you're not ranking for home cleaning services, Illinois, or office cleaning services, uh, Chicago. Those types of location-specific keywords with your service, uh, you want to include those types of location-specific keywords all over in the content. Uh, for example, if I search um, Des Planes, Illinois, uh, the first ranking uh, website is this one, Made Pro Des Planes, Illinois. So they have a specific page just for this location. So that they can include these location-specific keywords all over uh, the website. So they have it six times. When you're looking for Desplones Made Service, look at that, they use the keyword. Um, this Premier Cleaning Service. So it's, that's how you can include the keywords naturally inside the content. Um, they also do, this company, they've done a good job on their SEO. So they have pages for each one of the locations in and around that area uh, to target multiple uh, locations with your SEO. After you get all those right types of uh, location-specific keywords, the next step is to get something called backlinks. But you already have a few backlinks. Let's see what type of backlink. Oh, just one. DevHFB.com. This one has been sending you a couple backlinks, I guess. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a person who built your website. I don't know. Um, but you only care about do follow backlinks, which you don't have any of right now. If we go back to the other website we were looking at, um, madepro.com, they have over 22,000 organic traffic and they have 67,000 backlinks. So that's something that SEO companies do, is we monthly go through and outreach to other websites to get your link, your URL, onto their websites. Things like uh, blogs, directories, um, uh, news articles, etc. We'll write different press releases and stuff and get your website listed there. And by doing that, Google thinks that your content is higher quality because other websites are referencing and quoting you, and then they're going to rank you higher for all of the keywords that you're indexed for. Um, so that's the second step. After you get all the right keywords in the content and you're indexed, the next step is ranking for those keywords with backlinks. And that's pretty much SEO 101. Um, if you need help with anything uh, like keyword research or finding out more about citations or backlinks, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to give you any other tips. Uh, in the meantime, if you need other ways to get free leads, I'd suggest creating a Facebook Marketplace uh, listing. Those have worked really well for some of my other clients. Uh, it's a free way to do um, advertising on Facebook. You're technically only supposed to do um, products here, but people advertise their services all the time. And it's a good way to get out there. Also posting on groups, community groups, uh, also works really well. Uh, but yeah, hope you have a good day and you got some valuable information. Let me know if you have any other questions.